Welcome to the final lesson on developing in Ruby on a Linux desktop from a Windows perspective. I hope you've enjoyed the contents of the course and I hope I made the point on developing under a Linux desktop. I understand it might be just a little hard coming from Windows directly to a new desktop. However, I wanted to share my everyday experience on using Linux. I use it every day for my work and I couldn't be more satisfied. So I thought I could share my experience with you. Let me give you a set of final tips before leaving. I have two suggestions on how to get acquainted with using Linux. Most importantly, the command line. After all, the core differences lie in using the terminal, how to manage your system through it. If you want to learn Linux the hard way, check this link. It has loads of different exercises on how to use the many different commands available in the Linux system. If you grasp the most important ones, I'm sure your experience will be much smoother. If you don't want to learn Linux that hard, then check this link. This website is a lot easier to handle. It has a lot less exercises, but still contains the very fundamentals of Linux. I'm focusing my suggestions on Linux rather than Ruby. After all, Ruby is still Ruby. It is still wonderful and easy to work with. Still, Ruby is not just a language. You need to learn how to handle the rest around it. Your development environment is as important as managing the language. It's not just about learning the quirks of the language, but also how Ruby works within a system, within a production environment and stuff like that. You don't just code. You manage your product, your application, your resources, and how it runs outside. That's why I wanted to share this course with you. If you want a piece of advice, it would be to be patient. The fact that Linux is open source leads to community efforts that allow you to ask for help without being charged or anything. Feel free to ask for help. You can go to Google to search for a command in Linux or how to achieve a certain task. Go ahead. I'm always available to help you either way, so feel free to post feedback on me through Twitter or go ahead and check the forums. Thank you so much for taking the time in viewing this course and I hope you take advantage of it in your everyday work. If you're having troubles living the Linux experience, please let me know. I would like to help. My name is Jose Mota and I hope to see you very soon.